<clears throat> then we're gonna talk about setting up classroom activities. Okay. Here, in order to manage and promoting interactive classrooms, we need to know how to arrange a variety of classroom activities. Okay, we have a variety of classroom activities. We have classroom activities and variety. We can choose to have students work alone, in pairs, in small groups, or as a whole class. Inside the classroom, we can make them work alone or in pairs or we can make them in small groups that we can divide the students into small groups or as a whole class all the class look at the example of different seating arrangements on page 86 we will see this different seating arrangements which shows that we have choices as to how we have students sit in the class this is very important how students sit in the class these arrangements also imply that we have choices about the activities students do in the class so concerning the activities that you students do in the class how can we arrange them according to the activities number one they can sit in a traditional seating arrangement or in a semicircle during teacher class discussion or lectures see this is important traditional seating arrangement or semicircle when meta during teacher class discussion or lectures if you have a lecture you have discussion they can sit in a traditional seating arrangement or in a semi circle of the during what teacher class discussions or lectures two they can stand up and walk around as they study for example to memorize lines in a poem so they can stand up and walk around as they study, for example, to memorize lines in a poem. So in order to memorize lines in a poem, students can stand up and walk around. Number three, they can move their chairs to sit alone or in groups while working on a task. If they have a task, it's important. They can what? Sit alone or in groups? Alone, alone, working on a task. Or you can make them group. Example for each four students, five students, when they are working on a task. See? Okay, again, they can move their chairs. Move their chairs to sit alone or any groups while working on a task this is very important you know that students not only traditional setting you need to change from time to time according to to to, to the activity okay whether you are just discussing a lecture so it is a traditional or semicircle if they want to memorize lines or in poem, they can stand up and walk. If you want to give them a task, you can classify them 
into groups or they are alone, sit alone. Four or five, I can make it a short time. They can sit face to face. They can sit face to face. Give like one to global, matter chair, face to face. For example, as they interview, interview, sorry, as they interview each other. You see, face to face, as they interview each other. Back to back. And you won't last from back to back. As they Uh, back to back as they sim simulate a telephone conversation. <clears throat> as they simulate a telephone conversation. You see, when telephone conversation, they can sit back, back to back, sorry, across from each other. Across from each other as they practice a dialogue in circles. Checking the water and they solve a problem or discuss an issue. Shaifin Siasi and Paula Mustadira. They still want Paula Mustadira. Why? In order to solve a problem or discuss an issue. Nakshun Kabayan. In circles, as they solve a problem or discuss an issue. Or next to each other. And I have suffered time. As they study a reading selection, plan a party, okay, or collaborate on a piece of writing. They can also move around the class as they practice skills or role plays. The point here is that we don't have to limit The point here is that we don't have to limit The students to traditional sitting Okay, not all the traditional sitting You have different types of seating Okay, different arrangements if our goal is to provide lots of chances for students to use English to communicate, meaning we need to feel free to create seating combinations that make this possible. You see? And to the highlight well, we need to create seating combinations. I seating arrangements. I traditional. We can name the traditional that if you have lecture discussions, semicircle and maybe walking around alone to the other walking around reading lines of power spaced out working alone yeah. face to face, you see project work and in a group group. كل واحد ليدر ثلاثة عنده ويا ستيولي فيتكم ها بالمستقبل من تصل مدرس when you become a teacher you should for example make groups one of the group is a leader okay. project work pairs side by side see ما تخلي كل اثنين سوى مثلا see Pairs back to back, no, calling, they are phoning, and they are talking to each other back to back. He is standing face to face. For example, interview. They are interviewing each other. So there's interview. You see, these are very important. Equal, smaller group, equal. You divide. The, the class A and B, 10, 10, 
five 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 etc. Okay, and half and half. مثلا نفس الشيء هنا half and half. نص بنص. شوف تنوع هنا. يعني boys and girls. مو تقسمهم boys alone and girls alone. All together. So how the girl? Girls or boys? You can say that these two are boys. Yeah, girl and the other boys. So this is concerning seating arrangements. Don't stick to one seating. To traditional seating, you have different kinds of seating. Different kinds of arranging students inside classroom according to the activity you can arrange your student. I hope it is clear. We have another aspect of setting up classroom. Another aspect. When they are setting up classroom activities. Yeah, another aspect is how we group students, how we group them. And there are a variety of ways to do this. Okay, we have a variety of ways. You can read this and we can go immediately to the summary. Here we have summary. Ways to group learners. Ways to group learners. Selectively by the teacher in advance. Selectively. And the teacher can select, can choose by the teacher in advance. The teacher can group students with the same or possible characteristics. Yeah, shown in the car, be a Romanian Latin talent. Shown the guy at home, do it. راح لبيه اثنين ثلاثة شلون تخليهم كل متفوقين سوا بنات ولا سوا مثلا اللي يحكي هواي ويحكي قليل ويحكي الخجول هذا معنى جروب لانت التيشر كان جروب ستودنتس with the same or opposite characteristics see the same characteristics يعني اثنين two ستودنتس دول الستودنس مثلا توكاتيف يحجون هواي you put them together او بالعكس واحد شاي واحد نوت شاي واحد توكاتيف واحد كوايت or mix them for example شاي ستودنس could be grouped together or شاي and outgoing ستودنس grouped You see, this is what we mean by grouping students. Shy with shy, or shy and outgoing, friendly. By ability and experience, show why I did them. Show why I did. Show the group. We can grouping them same or opposite characteristic. Number two. By ability and experience. Ability. And accurate, not accurate. Fluent, not fluent. You see? Yeah, it's called it fluent or not fluent. Or fluent and not fluent. Being abroad and not being abroad. I'm Safir Tala. Use English at work. Don't use English at work. Computer user and non user. This is ability and experience by personality factors. There are factors that are related to personality. Listen, shy, outgoing, front sitters, back sitters, stone faced, smile, smilers. You know, stone faced, what am I going to do about that? Smilers, other you like. Talkers, not talkers. Early risers, 
late sleepers هكذا موجودة هنا طلاب بالشرع تقدر ترجع لها تلقاها بالتفصيل randomly in class تقدر تكون randomly in class يعني انت تصنف الطلاب randomly in class صورة عشوائية then by characteristics favorite color يعني من يفضل لون الأبيض يقعدون دول هنا يفضل لون الأسود يقعد مثلا randomly عشوائي favorite rock group or singer types of books read او سوي لوتر يعني شلون شلون سوي قرعة او كذا يعني نصيب حظ حظ كل منو حظه same flavor candy same color dot same end of string same number same piece of picture same line of sentence same coin by location موقع يعني same side of room proximity number قرب يعني proximity after counting one two three four one two three other ways students self select يعني and the quiet ways يعني students as they like هم الطلاب يعني they can choose their positions their place their seat students self select or pick up teams okay I hope it's clear these are ways to grow learners here yeah, we have as I said this is the explanation okay simulation some details show us how the coins candy this is about Uh, the last point we will talk about today is giving instructions how to give instructions you as a teacher the way we give instructions is another aspect of managing a classroom it's important as I told you how to manage a classroom you are inside the classroom and you want to manage classroom So here instruction, giving instruction to your students. It is worth taking time. In English, we call it is worth. I mean, she is to help. It is worth taking time to consider how we can make our instruction clear. So we need time in order to make our instruction clear, and at the same time provide opportunities. Through the instructions for students to interact in meaningful ways, of course, we have to give our students chance. Okay, through our instruction, in order to make them speak English, they they want to make them communicate and interact in meaningful ways. One way, one way is to write the instructions on the board. يعني مهم تعطي التعليمات للطلاب يقولوا مثلا حضروا هيجي اكتبوا هيجي سووا هيجي تطلب من عندهم انه هيجي احكوا كذا هاي الانستراكشن هذا معناته مثلا one way is to write the instruction write your instructions on the board or show them on the overhead project screen هذا عندك شاشة screen another language activity is to dictate the instructions After giving the dictation, I have students correct their own or each other papers by comparing their dictation with a written version. The crew has to do it. 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 ونقول له عيد توزيعنا على كل الطلاب. اوكي؟ 
هم الطلاب بس كل ما تجي كل واحد ومالته يعني ما تجي ورقته فيقعد كل طالب يقيم هنا شوف I have students correct their own or each other's papers كل طالب يقول شنو الأخطاء هنا خطأها بالنحو وكذا راح يصير يصير هنا لك بي you all of you will correct each other's okay so students will correct each other هي سامري ملخص مالتين some ways to give instructions شنو إنه include writing down instructions and giving them verbally verbally يعني نعطيه شفهيا okay writing down instructions and giving them verbally the number one very important I told you that you have to give instructions to your students everything can send instructions instructions ممكن قلنا ممكن غيابات هاي تاخذ غيابات ممكن تعطيهم واجب بيتي ممكن تعطيهم assignment هذا instruction giving them verbally writing down instructions and giving them verbally number two giving instructions verbally and role playing them showing the students what they are to do يعني you have to tell them what to do okay how, how to do these instructions number three having a student read the instructions okay tell one of the students to read the instructions then having a student or to paraphrase them to the class and also ask other students to paraphrase and it is to the class for writing down the instructions letting the students read them silently okay you ask them to read read them silently then have having them tell you what you expect from them and you can also ask them what do you expect okay what do you think yes dictating instructions then having the students check each other dictation as I told you you give them for students you tell them about instructions and you have to check each other's dictation miming the instructions miming the instructions as students guess what they are supposed to do miming يعني إيمائيات يعني ما تحكي شيء هم students guess خمّن what they are supposed to do whispering همس يعني همس whispering the instructions as students lean forward in their seats then how the students repeat the instructions to the person next to them in a whisper يعني واحد يهمس الثاني okay so these ways to give instructions in summary next lecture we will talk about keeping students on a task how to keep a student on a task we have number of ways okay see here there are things we can do to keep students on task the instructions themselves can be important some educators believe that students tend to begin working on a task sooner etc okay next lecture we will talk about keeping students on a task I hope the idea is clear. If you have any question, you can ask. I hope the idea is clear. How to, to group students inside the classroom, how to arrange them, According to the activities, don't limit to one seating, which is traditional. You have different ways, different seatings. This is very important. Inside the classroom, according to the activity.
رابط شرطه بال شرطه ابو الحضور طلاب <تصفيق> 